Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hey, Lisa. what's going on? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Awesome, awesome. Um, can you tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What do you remember about the previous class? What can you tell me about the previous class? Well, um, a short answer is in the verb be. Very good. Can you give me a, a question with the be verb and the short answer? Okay. Um, is John your brother? Yes, he is. Very good. Is John your brother? Yes, he is. Perfect. Excellent, Iris. Good job for Iris. Can I have another volunteer? Another volunteer? Somebody? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Somebody? How is going? Para romper el hielo. Ah, how's it going? Para romper el hielo. Very good. Correct. We looked at the conversation. How's it going? How's everything? What's up? Okay, very good. Tamara, thank you for your participation. Another volunteer? What information you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, is she watching TV? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Perfect. Is she watching TV? No, she's not. No, she's not. All right. Another volunteer? Another volunteer? The WH question. WH questions. Very good. Um, can you give me an example of a WH question? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Or for example, mm -hmm. um, how old are you? Very good. All right, Daniel, I want you to ask Josue a question. And Josue is going to respond to the question. Perfect. Um, for example, um, what are your house? I know, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Santana City. Very good. Now, Josue ask a question. And Danielle, respond to the question. Okay. Dino, what do you think about this English class? Um, repeat one more time, please. No, 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 not Daniel. Daniel Garcia. 
Yes. Daniel Garcia. Go ahead, Josue. Ask Daniel Garcia the question. Daniel Garcia responds. Okay, Daniel Garcia. What do you think about this English class? The English class are very good. Excellent. We say the English class is, is very good because it's many students, but it's one class. So it's considered singular. Very good, Daniel. Very good, Josue. Uh, now, Daniel, select somebody. Josue, select somebody, please. Go ahead. Josue, we Daniel, to... select somebody. Eunice and Daniel Ramirez. Who? Eunice Ramirez. Eunice Ramirez. And Tamara Valdez. Eunice Ramirez and Tamara Valdez. So Eunice Ramirez ask the question. Uh, Tamara Valdez respond to the question. Okay. Hi. Where are you from? Um, I am from El Salvador. All right. Uh, now, uh, Tamara asked the question. Elnisa respond. Where are you live? No. Where, no. where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Perfect. Now, Elnisa selects somebody. And Tamara, select somebody. Hector Granados. Hector Granados. Jenny oh, hello. Melendez. <laughs> uh, Jenny Melendez. All right. Hector Granados, ask the question. And Jenny Melendez, respond to the question. Where well, is the... Born. No, where were you born? Okay, where, where, where mm -hmm. in to born? Where, 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 well, you, you, born, born. Where were you born? Where were you born? I born in twenty five. Mm -hmm. November. Ah, okay. Repeat after me. I was born. I was born on, 20, on November. 20, November. 25th. 25th. I was born. I was born in November. On November. On November. 26. 26. I was born on November 26. I was born on November 26. That's right. Thank you. Now, Jenny ask the question and Hector is going to respond. Okay. <clears throat> Where do you go to to school. Uh, in the in the San Salvador uh, C C A C excellent. Hector select so somebody and Jenny select somebody. Okay. Aurora Marinero. Aurora Marinero. Yes. Okay. Select somebody, Hector. Hector. 
Hello, Hector. Select somebody, please. Uh, Lisbeth Murcia. Lisbeth Murcia and Aurora Minero. Aurora Minero, ask the question. Lisbeth, respond. Are you married or single? Repeat, please. Are you married or single? I am single. Okay. Very good. Now, Lizbeth, ask the questions and Aurora respond to the question. Lizbeth. What's your favorite song? Excuse me, my favorite what? Song of music. Uh, What's your favorite my song? Favorite, my favorite song is Close to You. Okay, perfect. Now, Aurora, select somebody, and Lizbeth, select somebody. Um, Evelyn Enriquez. Stephanie Morales. Excellent, Stephanie Morales and Evelyn Enriquez. Evelyn Enriquez, ask the questions and Stephanie Morales, respond to the questions. Okay, where are you from? Very good. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Now, uh, vice versa. Evelyn asked, uh huh. What do you do? Very good. What do you do? What is the response? I study English. Excellent. I study English. Perfect. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the vocabulary or pronunciation or something that you didn't understand from the previous class? Any questions? No question. Nobody? Somebody? Anybody? One body? Two body? You body body? One body? Me, me teacher. Okay. I would love to know where is the correct pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Answer or it is answer. Answer. Because I was listening to a video uh -huh. and answer. Answer. Okay. Answer. The W is not pronounced. The W is okay. not I got pronounced. It. Answer. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, let's go ahead and we're going to look at the following activity. For the following activity, we are going to be moving forward to section 1.13. In this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. En esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de leer un artículo y contestar preguntas de comprensión. What, what's in a name? Instructions. Read the following article about the names, then check the statements that are true. Instrucciones. Lea el siguiente artículo. Sobrenombres. Luego... Marque las oraciones que sean verdaderas. So, you're going to read this article. You're going to read this article. And then you are going to answer these questions. Do you understand? At this moment, do you understand? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, does anybody have any questions related to this topic? Any questions related to this topic? No question, just for a moment. Okay, very good. We're gonna work in pairs and complete the activity. Work in pairs and complete the activity. Let's go. Uh, Diego Valdez, let's go, let's go. What are you doing, Diego? Let's go, let's go. Diego, where are you? Uh, I am, but I don't have computer right now to do the activity. Oh, okay. Go ahead, enter in the private session and help Tamara. Oh, okay, perfect. Can you can you send me that? Uh, let me see. Go to one. And then one, go to, I'm going to send you two, three. There it is. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do I start to read or? I am sorry. Perfect. Good. Okay. What in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? They like. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Identity. Uh, okay. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are the names popular? And any are someone names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or a tell at set at uh, I don't remember the pronunciation of this word. Athos. Ah, uh, okay. Athos. Thank you. Athos. Popular names, suggest, right or no? Very okay. positive things. Um, suggest. Did you say uh, suggest? Aha, uh -huh. yes. Suggest. Suggest. Okay, suggest. And um, so negative things. And the next work, uh, surprisingly, I don't pronounce it. Uh, certainly. Oh, okay, okay. Is a superlative, no? That is correct. Okay. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Actor, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names, so, so gets very positive things. Unpopular names, so just negative things. Hasta ahí. Que, que dice los nombres pueden empezar a ser populares por un actor famoso de televisión o libros o atletas eh, nombres populares soldiers no sé qué significa eh, son muy positivos son algunos positivos los impopulares nombres no sé qué um, okay. So, alguien sabe qué significa? Teacher. 
Sugerir. ¿Cómo? Sugerir. Ah, sugerir. sugerir. Negativos. Eh, ahí que eh, siga Genaro con sor, Surprise, no sé cómo se dice. Surprise singer. Mm -hmm. People generally agree on the way they fit about Nate. Here are some common opinions about Nate from the recent surveys. Uh, they bought Nate, George, and Berger Boring, Jaco, Creative Finland, uh, Michael, Good Look, Athletic, okay. Stanley, Nerdy, okay. Serious, Gears Nate, Betty, All Fashioned, and Very Good, Emily, Independence, Aventurious, a giant play ordinary Nicole uh, Nicole Celia Nicole beautiful intelligent okay okay uh, más ya estamos los cuatro va sí empieza sí. de nuevo vaya pero si quieren comencemos a, a ver lo que nos pregunta la plataforma okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí prácticamente dice que algunos son aburridos, bueno, interesantes, creativos. Todos están buenos. Uh -huh. Buen equipo. Gracias, Aurora. <risa> ah, gracias a usted también. Le, le preguntamos al teacher quizás algunas cosas de pronunciación, ¿verdad? All right, sí, got it right here, waiting for you. Let's do it. Talk to me now. Nice. George uh, is como equals boring, boring aburrido. Sí, verdad. Boring aburrido. That's right. Y la otra palabra, a very, a very, no sé cómo se pronuncia, qué significa. Which one? This Average. Is Algo así. Average, average, average. El average es como el lo normal. Average. Average. Mm -hmm. El standard. Eh, old fashioned meaning. Old fashioned es como eh, anticuado. Que practica de los modales de los del pasado. Old fashioned. Mm. <coughs> Nerdy, meaning. Which one? Nerdy, uh, meaning. Eh, nerdy eh, viene de la palabra como nerdo. Like a nerd. Mm -hmm. Nerdy. Sur, surprisingle, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sur, surprisingle. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. That's right. Surprisingly, como algo sorprendente. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Okay, see y'all later. I gotta go check out another team. <clears throat> Yo no sé. Ahora...
Okay, let's look at the first one. Your name is part of your identity. True or false? True. 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 People often feel the same way about a particular name. True. 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 Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 People are often named after family members. True. 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 Opinions about names can change. True. 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 Awesome. 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 Any questions related to this um, text or questions about the questions? Um, I have a question, teacher. Yes. About the pronunciation in the picture. Yes. Um, athletes. Athletes. Athletics. 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 And and character. 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 Surprisingly. 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 Um, generally, generally. 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 Okay. Okay, no more. No more. All right. Uh, now, what I would like for us to do is move on to the following activity. Section two. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs with WH question words, as well as statements. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usando pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. Repeat. Where do you work? 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 Okay. So we're going to listen to the audio and listen to the pronunciation of the audio. And then we are going to practice in pairs. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. I love it. All right, everybody, please listen and repeat. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work, at, I work at, at Thomas Cook, Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? What do you oh, do there? Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? really? What did you do there? Do there? I'm a guy. I am kind. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. I take, I take, take some people, people on tours, on tours to, to countries, countries in America, America. America. Like, like Peru. How interesting. How interesting. Some people say interesting. Some people say interesting. I prefer interesting because it's more formal. Uh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. Yes, yes. yes. it's a great it's a job. Great job. I love I love it. It. And what do you do? 
Eh, ¿Cuánto yo tú? I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. And I have, and I have, have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, oh where, where do you, do you work? work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast, In a fast food, food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. Ay, yo creo que si ese lugar existiera allí, muriera yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love hamburgers. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this uh, pronunciation or vocabulary related to the questions, to the di dialogue? Uh, teacher, excuse me. Um, this book is pre-sci-fi. I'm sorry. Repeat. Uh, this English book is pre sci four or pre sci five. Honestly, I have no idea, brother. Okay. In, in 2011, I was studying English at the university in San Salvador City. And we are using this English book. I remember that is in uh, Freestyle 4. I'm oh. not sure. Okay. So you're familiar with this material. That's good. It's yes. easy for you. Okay, let's practice Josue and Mr. Santos. I am Jason, you are Andrea. Where do you work, Andrea? Uh, Josue, you continue. I work at Thomas Cook okay. Travel. Okay. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. All right, applause for Josue. Good job, Josue. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent pronunciation. Good, good job. Thanks, teacher. Okay, now we're going to practice uh, the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay, I want you to practice as many times as possible. Ready? We're going to change partners and let's go. Hamburger heaven. Okay, hoy empiezo. No. Sí, verdad, yo empiezo. Sí. Mm -hmm. yes. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. 
Oh, really? What do you do there? And I get, I take people on tours to countries and serve America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I, I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Kevin. It's charger. Can you see it in my in my profile? Mm. Can you okay. read it? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, I will be Jason. And you will be Andrea. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tourist to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. ¿Me escuchas? Sí. I'm a student and I have a part-time too. Part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Hola. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hola. Hola. Eh, yo creo que Iris está obteniendo su internet, está muy lento. Eh, yo escucho a Lisbeth perfectamente al tiempo, pero pienso que Iris no le llega el mensaje hasta tal vez después y por eso se escucha aquella respuesta tarde. Eso me imagino yo, pero yo sí la escucho perfectamente, Lisbeth. Oh, thank you, teacher. Sí. Yes, I have problem with my internet. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Iris. It's okay. Uh, Evelyn Enriquez is here. You can practice with Evelyn Enriquez. Okay. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, yo igualmente estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Justo así me pasa desde el principio de la clase. Sí, porque yo este, ingresé y me sacó y tuve que volver a, a entrar. Uh, okay. Well, try to practice, girls. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? Which restaurant? Do you listen to me? Listen to me. 
Iniciamos. Yes, yes. Abby Jackson. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, now, for the next activity, what you are going to do is you are going to go to Vocaroo. You're going to hit Vocaroo. You're going to go to Vocaroo Online Voice Recorder. You're going to record yourself reading the story where do you work andrea i work at thomas cook travel oh really what do you do there i'm a guide i take people on tours to countries in south america like peru how interesting yes it's a great job i love it and what do you do i'm a student and i have a part-time job too you're gonna read the complete a story, then guardar y compartir, then copy, then you're going to go to the platform and you're going to go down here where, where it says discusión, añade, where it says title, título, you're going to put your name. And here you're going to paste the recording and then enviar. All right. And then after that, Mr. Santos is going to listen to the pronunciation. Yourself. Reading the story. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. Any questions? Any questions? Any no, teacher? Really. I'm teacher. All right. Let's work in pairs. Let's do it. All right, so I have right here Patricia Rodriguez, Jacqueline Jennifer.
All right. See you later, Patricia. Again. Ya regreso. Voy a ver si, si dejando de usar alguna cosa me funciona porque se me está cortando. A lo mejor es el internet también. Sí, yo creo que eso es. Ok. Va, este. ¿Qué vas a hacer tú? Um. Pero es que es individual la grabación. En pareja, dijo. En pareja, vaya, entonces, ¿quiere ser Andrea? Ok, está bien. Vaya, vaya este. Grabando. Aquí, Tres, dos, yo voy a grabar aquí. Vaya. Tres, dos, uno, grabando. Espérame, espérame aquí. Espérate, guarda. Ya no estuve. Y para borrarlo, ¿cómo hago? Borrar. Ajá. Es que esta cosa le di grabar y una cosa me reprodujo ahí que no vea. <coughs> que no vea. Ahí está, ahí para darle play. Es que no sé cómo grabar esta cosa. Y no uno solo lo puede grabar, pues. ¿Ah? Que no solo uno tiene que grabar y subirlo. Ah, tú lo vas a grabar entonces. Sí, si sí, yo tengo listo aquí, ¿Sí? grabar. Dale, pues. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Hi, people. Hey, sorry. <risa> ahora aquí vamos ahora aquí vamos ahora aquí vamos bien ibas motivado ibas motivado y eh, tú lo grabaste sí pero yo creo que es solo porque cuando te metes al bacarú no sé si escucha la voz del siguiente ah sí es cierto ajá Vamos a escuchar el de Jennifer. Quiero escuchar el de Jennifer cómo lo grabó, si lo grabó en pareja o ella sola. No es en pareja, salen las dos voces. Le damos, o sea. Sí, yo estaba grabando y ahí habló alguien ahí. No, no Va, salen bueno, las dos voces. Josué, no salen las dos voces. Intentémoslo, ¿ya? Bueno, dele, dele. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Who entertain? Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am study and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I am fat food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven.
no se oye. Ya. Yeah. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a girl at five people on Hi, Jenny. In South America, like. Hola. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, yes. Hi. It's a great job. No pude entrar al grupo, pero lo hice yo. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Awesome. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and continue. For the following activity, we are going to be looking at where do you work? Oh, no, we already did this one. 2.2. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Al final de la clase, los participantes serán capaces de entender y usar el presente simple. Listen, please. Lesson participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus the subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay. Now, let's look at he, some of these examples. Who can read for me the first one? Read for me the first question. Me, teacher. Okay. What do you do? What? Word. That's good. What do you do? So in this sentence, this is the auxiliary, do. This is the verb, do. This is the auxiliary, do. This is the verb work. This is the auxiliary do. This is the verb go. Here in third person singular, does is the auxiliary. Work is the verb. Here does is the auxiliary. Do is the verb. 
And here, does is the auxiliary and like is the verb. <clears throat> now, when you are using um, I and you in the first person, we're going to use the verb in the base form. Work, take, study, no S. But when we are using he, she, or it, in this context, you need to put the S. As you can see here, you put an S next to the verb. S next to the verb. S, in this case, ES. <clears throat> Any questions? Any question? All right. So what you're going to do is you are going to come here in the discussion forum and you're going to give me at least five questions using what, where, and how. Five questions. And you're going to write them here in the discussion forum. All right, guys, that's your homework. Good night. And we see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.